October 25, UPI a former Navy SEAL who suffered career-rending injuries while searching for U.S. Army Sergeant Bowie Bergdahl in 2009 described his ordeal during a sentencing hearing for the soldier who pleaded guilty to desertion charges. The SEAL, Senior Chief Petty Officer James Hatch, said the injuries he received in the search for Bergdahl forced him to retire after 26 years of service. Those injuries required him to undergo 18 operations. Someone is going to get killed or hurt trying to get this kid, Hatch remembered saying during the search. Hatch, who entered the courtroom Wednesday with a limp and a service dog named Nina, said he suffered multiple gunshot wounds to his leg during a firefight in Afghanistan with Taliban soldiers. I screamed a lot. It hurt really bad, he said. I thought I was dead. During the firefight, Hatch said he also lost a military service dog who was shot and killed after locating two enemy fighters. His name was Remco, he said, emotional as he spoke of the fallen dog. Bergdahl, 31, faces life in prison for his crimes. His defense team has argued that he can't get a fair sentence because President Donald Trump has made numerous public comments on the matter once calling Bergdahl a dirty rotten traitor who should be executed. Bergdahl said he never intended for anyone to get hurt when he left his post in 2009 and was ultimately captured by Taliban militants who tortured him for five years. I believed they would notice me missing, but I didn't believe they would have reason to search for one private, Bergdahl has said. The sentencing hearing will resume Thursday.